thought it would be fun to surprise his partner by performing alone. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Penn Jillette! Me? Well, I do happen to have a deck of cards. Uh, I, I happen to have a deck of cards. I guess I could give it a try to you, just kind of one-on-one. Um, -on -one. Would you like that? Why don't you come up here and have a sit down? Right here, would you please? And um, have yourself, uh, have yourself a seat right there. I have a uh, deck of cards right here, and I'm going to do uh, a couple things. This, uh, this shuffle is for the people at home, and this cut is for the people at home. But you, what I'd like you to do is now very carefully follow the directions very carefully. Just give those cards a cut wherever you want, and then complete the cut and then complete the cut. Now here's what I'm gonna do, it's a, it's a little procedural on this, okay? I'm gonna take the cards that you just cut, and I'm gonna turn my back, and I really won't look at anything. I'll spread them out like this, and then just take one card, look at it yourself, don't show it to anyone, memorize it, put it in your vest pocket, the left vest pocket, and then gather them up again nice and cleanly, and give them one cut and complete the cut. And when you've done that, give me a couple uh, knocks there. Oh, good, good, good. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to take your jacket off. Please, take your jacket off. And then you're going to lay that jacket right over my hands here. This way. It's just like that. Now, I'll tell you the premise of this trick right now, okay? The premise of this trick is based on exaggeration. You know that I exaggerate an awful lot. I exaggerate more than anybody in the world. So I'm kind of rounding up our experiences on this show. Because you are the brains of the outfit. As a matter of fact, with everything we do, you're always right. And that means, therefore, I am always wrong. So I'm telling you right up front, Teller, I'm going to tell you right to your face, this trick will go wrong. It really will. It's going to go wrong. It's not going to go well. But so perfectly wrong that I might fool you. Now, you've got one card. It's either black or red. There's no magic in that. And I'm going to take and show you one card. Now, if you were doing this, the card that I showed you would match the color of the card you have. But I do everything wrong. So when I pull this card out and show it to you like this, and I see that that's a black card, that means, because I'm always wrong, that you picked a red card. Is that right? You picked a red card. So that is the wrong color. And this is the wrong suit. So I know it's a heart or a diamond. Now, you would pull out the suit that matched yours. Mm -hmm. But I don't do that. I do everything wrong. So that's a heart, which means you have picked a diamond. Now, to see if it's a face card or a number card, I do this. And that shows me that it is a number card, because that's a face card, because I'm doing everything wrong, Teller. Everything wrong. <laughs> now, this one tells me if it's odd or even. And I see that that's even, so I know that your card is odd. Is that correct? And I know it's not any of these odd cards, ace, three, five, nine. So you have picked the seven of diamonds. Is that correct? Pick the seven of diamonds. Pull out the seven of diamonds and show it to the audience. Show it to the audience triumphantly. The seven of diamonds. Now you're going to go over there and you're going to sit down. You're going to do this alone. It's just me versus you one on one. Mono on mono, pen versus teller. But you need a mouthpiece. You need someone to speak for you. So we are going to have a mutual friend of ours, Piff, the magic dragon, a friend of us all. Now, Piff will sit in my seat, and Piff will do the talking for you. Good luck. Pen Gillette, everyone! Oh, that was very impressive. Well, thank you. How long have you been doing magic? Uh, I've been doing magic for about uh, 45 years. Okay, all right. Uh, so still relatively you. new. Yeah. <laughs> this is 
such a surprise for Teller. Did you see his Teller face? Teller had uh, no idea. No clue. Uh, Teller just thought we were doing an extra fooler. So technically, you've already fooled him. If nothing else, I think we may not have fooled him, but we certainly surprised him. Definitely. I think if you don't get the trophy, you at least deserve a plaque. I deserve some right. sort of plaque. Yeah. yeah. Well, are you ready? Are ready? We are ready. Okay. I'm ready. Here we go. Let's go to Piff and see if Teller knows how you did your trick. All right. Well, Teller has uh, given it his best shot, and he says that Penn has completely fooled him. So. Well, thank you so much. Let's uh, let's bring down the. I feel like that's not what happened. Is that not correct? I think I might have misunderstood. Hang on a second. <laughs> Can you just run that by me one more time? Just whisper. <laughs> just, just one more time. <sighs> he says, fool me once, shame on you. <laughs> That's it, just shame on you. So. <laughs> Teller also said to me that Piff and Teller has a much stronger ring to it. <laughs> <laughs> but if nothing else, Teller, I did surprise you, didn't I? <laughs> He says, no, he knew it all along. <laughs> Piff, thank you so much, and thank you for being in my corner, but I believe that we have to uh, do this very specially, just one-on-one. -on -one. Tell her, come up here. We'll have a little discussion right here in front of everybody. Okay, what do you, what do you got? Uh, we never, uh, Teller knew nothing about this till we did this. It really was a complete surprise. We pretended we were just shooting a regular fooler, and there's no precedent for this. And uh, Teller thinks that I half fooled him, and uh, maybe we bring down the trophy and split it in half. What do you think? We bring down the trophy? Yeah. Okay. show.